The Boulder's penguin colony is home to around 1,000 breeding pairs of penguins. Although it's the smallest of the seven major colonies, it has a relatively stable bird population compared to penguin declines seen elsewhere. So the initial decline was linked to removal of guano. These penguins historically nested on islands where they made their nests in burrows in guano, which is essentially bird um, feces. But the guano makes a fantastic, really solid soil. So they could dig out burrows, which protected them from heat, from wind, from all kinds of environmental extremes, but also from predation by seagulls and other birds that nest on islands. Over the years, scientists have tried a variety of nesting boxes to assist with keeping penguins safe while breeding. This time around, they used historical information on the design of guano nests. The new boxes are made from a geotextile fabric that is non-toxic and environmentally friendly. They are also big enough to easily accommodate an adult and two chicks with adequate ventilation. The nests have been trialled in Simonstown outside of the protected area and it seems that the penguins took to them very well. The nest boxes did particularly well in um, protecting the penguin chicks from winter extremes. You can see that a lot of the natural nests here on the beach have started collapsing and when there are storm surges, these nests become flooded and they collapse and the chicks and eggs can be lost. Penguins started breeding in boulders in the mid-1980s, leading to the area being protected. Unlike the island colonies, the presence of trees and other vegetation here provide alternative protected breeding sites. We have an ongoing project where indigenous vegetation is planted and grown in boulders to ensure stability of the soil and preventing soil erosion. There are uh, many alien invasive species within boulders, but we have a program set out where we gradually remove those so as not to take away breeding space or breeding habitat for the penguins. Any abandoned penguin chicks or eggs are taken to Sandkop where they are hand reared and released back into the wild. Penguins face many challenges and threats like the loss of habitat, a lack of food due to overfishing, predation and more recently the effects of climate change. During a heat wave, we might ex see that the adult penguins become too hot. You'll see on a hot day like today, they'll start panting. And when it becomes unbearably hot, they might have to take to the water to cool down. And when they take to the water, their chicks are vulnerable to predation and also to overheating. These new nesting hides are essential for colonies that are greatly exposed to predation and various environmental factors. It is hoped that it will assist in increasing the overall population of the African penguin. Linky Bierman, SABC News, Boulders Penguin Colony, Simonstown.